Hello and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. Today's video, because the game has just come out, means a brand new season. Level 15 and level 30 have storyline cards. So this video is who to take from level 15. So let's get into it. The first level 15 card is Luke O'Neill. He has medium high work rates. 2 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot and no alternative positions and if I was to take this card I would apply an anchor chem style. The pros of this Onion card I'd have to say his pace, I think 79 pace is actually very good for the start of the game. He's got 83 agility and 87 balance whether that's because he's 5 foot 9 but it is very good for a CDM. He has well-rounded defending, mainly low 80s. And then his physicals are also very good with 93 stamina being a standout. Moving on to the cons of this Onion card, I'd have to say his passing. 75 passing for a card that you'll probably get maybe the first week. I'm already nearly at level 15 and I'm recording this on the 27th. So, technically his passing for me I think is still far too low. Then his league, obviously he's playing for Sunderland so he's in the championship. I mean he is English so you can link him in that way. But he doesn't have any alternative positions. So, if you do want to get him on any form of chem, you do have to play him in a formation where there is a CDM. The second level 15 card is Sicko Near Kate. He has medium medium work rates, 2 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot and he has an alternative position as a left back and if I was to take this card I would apply a shadow chem style. On to the pros of this Near Kate card, I'd have to say his 79 balance and 71 reactions, I think that's actually very good for quite a low rated centre back this early on in the game. He has very well rounded defending and then his physicals are also very very good. The cons of this near Kate card I'd have to say his medium medium work rates. Now I'm basing this off of FIFA 22 because that's literally just the worst work rates and it has been for the past like two or three FIFAs. So I'm just still basing it off of that. And then his 74 pace. He just isn't quick enough. For day one. Let alone when you get him a week in. And then somehow his alternative position is a left back. So for me I would personally think his pace must be low 80s. Like 83 or 84. Which would make him a much more usable centre back and left back especially if you have a shadow on him. The final level 15 card is Naratio Casamuirjo. I do apologise if I've absolutely butchered that but he does have high high work rates, 2 star skill moves and a 3 star weak foot. Alternative positions he has right wing back, centre back and CDM and if I was to take this card I would apply a shadow chem style. And onto the pros of Kasim Weirjo. First thing would have to be his pace. Now I'm going to be looking at this card essentially as a centre back. Because for me that's one of his biggest pros is the fact he can play as a centre back. So 82 pace and then it would go up to 90 pace with a shadow. Then he has very well rounded dribbling. Defending is also well rounded and would get boosted heavily with a shadow. Physicals are good with 92 jumping so he's 6 foot 1 as well which is a big pro so he should win the ball in the air a lot. High high work rates and for me I just think the fact that he has the alternative position as a centre back is such a big pro. On to the cons of Casamuirjo. I mean this is me really nitpicking because I actually think this is a really really good card especially if you play him as a centre back. 70 reactions, 79 strength, 
I mean, that's all I can really pick out as cons. Because I didn't even mention in the pros that if he is a centre-back, then he does actually have good crossing, short passing and long passing. So, for me, I think this card could definitely play in any objective team for the entirety of the year simply because he's fast and his defending's good his physicals are good and so is his dribbling especially for a centre back I would recommend taking Kasim Weirjo from level 15 if it wasn't already obvious I mean just everything about this card he's definitely in my opinion the best level 15 card we've ever received because you can play him as a centre back his pace is so good, and so is defending all this early on. If you're building an Eredivisie of easy team, he will easily be one of your centre backs for a very long time because of his pace and his defending. Also, his physicals, being six foot one, high high work rates. I just can't see anyone else taking O'Neill or Niakate because their cards are good. But compared to Kasim Weirjo, they're just nowhere near. And it's all because he can be a sweaty centre-back. I'd like to thank you all for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, drop a like. Hit that subscribe button to not miss out on any FIFA 23 content. But for now, I'll see you in the next one.